Hi, I'm Bob, and welcome to the very first episode of Between the Sheets, where we look at Microsoft Excel and related technologies. For our very first episode, I want to show you something unique. Um, I mean, literally, Excel's unique function, which Microsoft introduced in the 365 editions. The way it works is you feed it a list of values, some of those values might repeat, and the function will return to you a list of just one of each of those values. So, for example, let's say your list has three instances of the word cat and four instances of the word dog. The unique function will return two values to you, cat and dog. The unique function is also one of a new class of functions called spill functions. And if you're not familiar with what that is, that's okay. I'll show you. So let's go and take a look, see how it works. Here we have a simple sheet and we've got some orders. Each uh, record gives us an order number, the variety that's being ordered, the state that it's coming from. You notice that there's a few of these that are shaded. Just ignore this for now. We're going to come back to those later. What we want right now is just to know what are all of the varieties that are being ordered. So like you can see, we have Kona listed here a few times. Oh, we want Kona listed once. We have Ethiopian being ordered a few times. We want that listed only once, and so on. So before we do this, let's take a quick look at the syntax of the unique function. Now, this function is available only in the 365 editions of Excel, and later, I assume. And the syntax is pretty simple. We simply say equals unique, and then in parenthesis, we feed it a range of cells that we want to look at. So now we could go and use it. So at the top of column D there, I'm going to say equals unique. And you'll know that you have the function when you get the little syntax help coming up there. If you don't see that little syntax help coming up when you type unique, uh, there's a good chance that your machine uh, doesn't have that available. Open up the parenthesis, and I'm simply going to drag down all the varieties. There we go, and I press enter, and now it shows me that we've got these five uh, varieties that are being sold. So even though we've got a whole lot of records here, there's a, there's a lot of duplication, and the unique function removes all of that duplication. You notice this is a spill function because you see that kind of nice shaded border. If I click the cell where I entered the function, you can see there it is normal. But if I click any of the others in that list, you notice it's shaded out. Again, that's because it's a spill function. So let's kick this up a little notch, and this is where the shading comes into play. What if we want unique values, not just of the varieties, but of variety and state pairs? So for example, here's a situation where an order from Michigan is coming in, and they're ordering Ethiopian. And here's another that it's coming from Michigan and they're ordering Ethiopia. So those two should count for one. Or an order from California, that's for Blue Mountain, and there's another order from California, that's Blue Mountain, and that pair should also count for one. So let's go to the top of column E, and I'm gonna, again, say equals unique, open up a parenthesis, and now I'm gonna select not just variety, I'm gonna select variety and state. I'm going to select both of those. There we are. And I press enter. And now we've got those unique pairs. So there is only one instance now of Ethiopia being ordered in Michigan. Now, there's people in other states like California that are ordering Ethiopia, but that's another unique value. That's not the same value uh, Ethiopian being ordered in California is not the same value as Ethiopia being ordered in Michigan, or Blue Mountain being ordered in California. Here's one instance of Blue Mountain being ordered in California. There's other orders of Blue Mountain, but those are going to other states, so those are also unique. And we can also kind of prove it to ourselves, because there's two of those pairs, that this list is two rows, this extracted list is two rows shorter than the full list. 
So that's the unique function, fairly simple to use and available starting in the 365 editions of Excel.